Welcome back everyone. Today many Ohioans are also making their ways to the polls. They're going to help decide if prescription drug prices will see a change for the better the worse. We're talking about issue two and it seems to be dividing voters. The now's Brianna Harper joins us now live from the Board of Elections with what voters are saying about issue two after casting their ballot. So Brianna, what did you learn? Well, Tanya, the general consensus I got from a lot of voters I spoke to was confusion. Many voters tell me they weren't sure whether or not they should vote for or against issue two. The final voting results aren't in just yet, but when it comes to issue two, most voters agreed on at least one thing. The messaging, I think, from all sides of the argument uh, was somewhat confusing. Did not really understand the issue. They needed to rewrite the law so that it was um, less loopholes. On the surface, issue two, also known as the Drug Price Relief Act, is meant to lower the cost of prescription drugs. That means the state of Ohio wouldn't be able to buy prescriptions at prices higher than what the Department of Veterans Affairs pays. I believe that prescription drugs should be more affordable um, to Ohioans. And the best evidence I could find from, really from Facebook and from Twitter, people that I follow that I respect, was that this would at least begin to address the issue. Some say they voted against the bill, fearful it would only benefit big business. Scared towards large corporations, because that's what, really what it was. It was big money who, who had some influence in the writing of that bill. During the months and weeks leading up to Election Day, television ads helped set the tone for which side voters should be on. By giving Ohio the lowest known price from drug companies, your choice, wake up Ohio, Vote yes on issue two. Over 10,000 doctors calls issue two bad policy. But ads like this didn't seem to have much impact on those undecided voters. Um, I'd rather leave it blank than vote one way and have it, you know, have un unintended consequences. Now, around the same time last year, California also voted on a similar bill that was ultimately defeated. Reporting live from the Board of Elections, Brianna Harper, The Now, Cincinnati.